What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I told you I was going to have a series, a small series, on the 67P. Now, the more we get into this, now the last video was pretty revealing. We've seen some crazy things on there that probably shouldn't be on a comet, or a comet should look like that. This one here is going to show even more evidence. This next one is going to be even more revealing. It just gets crazier and crazier. Folks, I don't believe this is a rock at all. I think it's a disguised spacecraft. And you'll see what I'm saying by the time this little series is over. Because there's some crazy cool stuff now. Let's just jump right into it. All right, folks, here you go. It is Solar System Exploration, our galactic neighborhood from NASA, 67P. And you can see this is the angle we'll be looking at, 67P this time. Folks, <laughs> the more you get into this stuff and just bring it out, even a lot of it doesn't even have to be brought out. Just look at the details. The details tell all. Let's dive right into Photoshop. Let's have a look. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the objects that caught my eyes without any enhancement, and then we're going to enhance it, and I'm just going to point out the things that jump right out, okay? So, starting from the top, we'll jump right into this. Just these areas alone at the very tip, just below this point on this rock, I can see a couple what look like structures and this white straight pipe, whatever this may be, to the left of it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's just highlight these right here. Now, I'm just going to go down, and I'm just going to show you the little things that, like I said again, that got my attention, okay? So, let's go down here a little bit. And, folks, there's more than maybe what I do. But just to point out the more obvious stuff, this stuff in this oval alone, okay? Turn your head to the left. Why are these things lined up on the neck of this comet? Notice the little squares almost at the very bottom of this green uh, outlined area very bottom left of it, you can see what looks like squares and different other objects, and they line up almost perfectly this white piece, very bottom. But notice underneath that white piece, very, very bottom, that outlined area, you can see what looks like a square with something in the middle of that. Okay, all little small little details. This is another one that's pretty wild. Let's get to this one here just below that. Why does this look like a cutout of the outside or the skin of the comet, but look inside, there's like a white flattened area. It's almost like a disguised landing area. Is it possible it was broken open? That's a good possibility, right? Okay, further down. How about these pieces right here, which I find really interesting because they look like framework. And folks, I'm not doing anything to this photo. Nothing. This is what's in the stock photo. Now, to me, that is not normal at all. You can see that straight. It's either framework, structures. I'm not sure what to call it. It's pure speculation at this point, but that is framework. That doesn't look like a natural boulder or any of that sort, okay? Let's jump over to the left. Now, this one I find interesting right here because it looks like a tower. Check that out. I'm going to roll it over to this side. Check that out, folks. What are we seeing here? Something standing up. It might have a dome on the top of it, or this dome or whatever this white piece is might be set back behind it. But regardless of that, it looks like one... Two, one's larger, one's shorter. What looks like things sticking up. And if you look carefully, it almost looks like it's in a rectangular base or something that's sitting there. This as well. This area alone. Check that out. Okay. In fact, we're going to move this all the way over so you guys can see all of this right here, these last three. If you tilt your head to the left, this one in the middle, Look at the other dots at the top of this circle there, inside the circle there. One, two, three, four pieces in a row. This white piece just below that, you can see it right there. And what looks like some kind of structural, could be part of the, well, we'll call it the skin of the comet. These two pieces here. I'll put those at the center of the screen. Folks, check that out. This is not natural. Okay, so now let's do this. I'm going to back out, and we're going to go to the full enhancement and then point these things out. Okay, you can see where I've got arrows showing these objects or these areas. Let's start from the top, like we started off with showing the stock photo. Let's have a closer look. 
Folks, I don't know about you, but the green arrow pot, like I said, is showing what looks like some kind of structure or something. And to the left, we got that white, looks like this white pipe type thing or some kind of object going into it. Looks like the back looks like a dock and tubular area where it would go into. Okay. Pretty wild. I mean, when you look at some of these things, and like I said, you have to pay attention because a lot of these things are small in here, right? Drop down here in that oval area. Have a look at this. All right, this area alone, check this out. These two green arrows right here. Look at these things lined up. Just tilt your head a little bit to the left and check these out. What are the chances of things being all in a row like that? Okay. And they have squares, rectangular pieces, things on top. Now, folks, keep in mind also that this has been censored and manipulated. Okay. So, again, all of those objects between the green arrows. We have the yellow arrow more in the middle right here. Check that out. And just below, like I said, you can see these white little one, two, three, four coming off that white object things and i don't know if they're structured or whatever but just below that there's another one and it looks like it's on some kind of horseshoe shape kind of structure now this light blue uh, arrow again it looks like a cutout and is a white smooth out area in there what could this possibly be now keep in mind this is supposed to be just a simple rock which has probably got battered through space multiple times we don't know you know because i don't know the, the history of this rock supposed rock but that there is completely smooth inside of an area it looks like it's been cut up now is it possible it's been caved in this is what i'm getting at folks i think what we're looking at is a spacecraft made to look like a comet here we are with this weird framework it's pretty clear you can see that pretty well now let's look at here again looks like a couple little towers and they appear to be on some kind of rectangular area Okay, we're going to bounce into this area. Again, folks, on the very left, let's have a look at that. When you look at this, you see the green and the yellow arrow. Look at the objects. But go to the right as well. There's some weird-looking shaped objects on the surface of this comet. Is that on the surface, or are we looking at parts of the interior part of this comet? Regardless whether it's on the surface or we're seeing the inside of it, it's not natural. This blue arrow. Again, it looks like a structure of some sort. And then just to the right, slight right and up, you can see one, two, three, four. It looks like round domes type things or things in a row. It looks like it's in a squared off area. This object up here in the yellow. Slightly turn your head to the left. It looks like a structure. You can see a white platform down here. And you can see what looks like structures on the top of it. Or is it just a mechanical part of this on it? And it's not a structure. We can only speculate, folks. But to me, that screams intelligently made. Notice how we got this major blurring. What is going on here? Well, I'm looking at that blur and I can see something right there. I'm going to just zoom right in. It looks like some kind of weird little dome or round piece right there. And you can see what looks like a rectangular platform just behind this blur. Now, it's funny how the blur are some things and some things not so much. Here's another couple more objects I just noticed and didn't even notice prior to enhancing this. Put a smack dab right in the middle of the screen, right here. I'm going to go around it slowly with the cursor. But check that out, folks. Some of the things in here are just absolutely crazy. Back up a little bit here. Pause it right here, folks, and have a look with your magnifier. Jeweler's eyepiece, whatever it is that you use. I can leave it just like this, or we can go ahead and do this. We can zoom in again to this section here, let you folks have a better look. Okay. Over here to the right, have a better look. Again, we have all the other arrows you can check out right there, and then we'll move up to the top. And again, here's the top ones right here. Back way out. Here's the whole photo right here, folks. Stop it. Have a close look. And they are. Folks, every time I look at this comet, it turns out to be intelligently made. Even the next video I'm going to do, it's going to seal it for you. Um, when I started looking at this, I just went, oh, I had one of those oh my God moments because I didn't notice this at first because it's the way they present the photo. Centered in some way, shape, or form. 
when I started to look at this, I was like, wow, this is neat. And I didn't notice this before until I decided to really enhance this and bam, sealed it for me. So you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. But even in this video, some crazy things that don't look like they were uh, supposed to be on a comet going. I think it goes by, what is it? I think it goes through our solar system, meaning around the sun, uh, every six and a half years. They have something to look at every six and a half years. It comes by again. They can analyze a little bit more. Or is the Philae Lander still on there, still doing work, and they're saying that it's not? And of course, this was sent up by ESA, the European Space Agency. When I look at this photo, and every angle I try to look at this thing, I just looked at a couple more photos and went, here we go. There's more stuff on here. Just have to look. The tiniest details, boom, it will seal the deal for you as well. Anyway, folks, drop your comment down below. Let me know what you've seen in this photo. Let me know what you think. Folks, even if we were to dismiss half of that stuff, some of the stuff stands out and says, it's simply just not natural. Again, drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Again, folks, we have two or three more of these videos coming up, which is going to, like, like I said, blow you away. And then we're going to jump right into the uh, other good stuff as well. So stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.